Hi friends, welcome back. Or if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to the channel. So today I wanna share with you all some jacket and coat patterns that you can sew for this winter. So in a previous video, I did a sweater weather uh, video, all the different sweater options that you have to sew this season. Today I wanna share with you the coat and the jacket uh, patterns as I promised. I tried to be as inclusive as possible, including regular sizes as well as plus sizes. However, there are only commercial patterns featured in this video. I usually like to include indie patterns, but today I'm doing commercial patterns. If you have any interest in indie patterns, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below uh, if you want me to do a video of a collection of indie coat patterns. Also, if you have any coat patterns or jacket patterns that you want to share that are tried and true or patterns that you really loved, that you sewed that are also in print, go ahead and put the name and or the uh, pattern uh, numbers in the comment section below so we can check those patterns out as well. So with that said, let's go ahead and let's uh, look at some of these coat and jacket patterns that I have picked out. The patterns that I have picked out either have really strong recommendations um, and reviews or they are jacket or coat patterns that I've sewn myself. And so I feel comfortable um, sharing these with you. So the first is the Simplicity S 9685. So the reason why I selected this one is because it falls in a plus size category. So you can get the regular size as well as the plus sizes. Uh, go ahead, check the uh, website for all of these different uh, patterns. I'll put the, the patterns that I mentioned in the description box below so you can know the, the name and the number of the patterns. So you could go and check out additional details on the simplicity.com website. So again, this does have um, a plus size with the jacket. So that's why I included it. For me personally, I don't like the scarf that's attached to the jacket, but I'm sure you can omit the scarf if you also don't want this, the scarf um, feature attached to the jacket. So it is a line coat and you have uh, pockets and you have uh, buttons for your front closure. Now, I also try to include patterns that don't have buttons or zippers for those individuals who want something more easy. So if you don't want anything that have like buttons or zippers or anything like that, I would suggest that you try the Simplicity S8742. This is also a, a winter style coat. You can use uh, blend, one, uh, wool blends and things of that nature. The previous jacket or coat that, the coat pattern that I just recently uh, showed you, that also uh, calls for fabric such as wool, wool blends and things of that nature. This one here comes in extra small to extra large. And so it doesn't have that plus size category. <laughs> However, it is a really easy coat that don't have buttons or zippers or anything like that. You have three different options. One include like a waterfall. The other one has like a shawl around the neckline. And you also have pockets that you can put on the front of your coat as well. So I think that one would be really fun for winter. This next pattern, the Simplicity S9854. Now I chose this pattern because um, even though it doesn't have plus, uh, plus sizes, it goes up to a size 26 which is really, um, I wouldn't say unusual, but it's really rare for patterns to go up to 26 or 28 with regular sizes. And so if you need the additional sizes, it's that extra, you know, 22, 24, 26 will probably be really um, helpful for you if you are on the cusp of plus size and you also have a larger bicep. So I really like that pattern for that because it does have those additional sizes there. Uh, for the regular sizes. It does feature notch a notch collar um, with pockets. And also you have, um, I think there's one button, a one button closure in the center front. So you don't really have a lot in the way of buttons there. You also have an inverted pleat at the center back and um, your lapel, like I said, is notched. So really nice. Now for boys and men, there is the Simplicity S9694, which is also an easy to sew pattern. I think this is really fun for, especially if you want to do like matching sets for your son or your husband or, you know, any 
um, one in your life that you think, I think is very unisex as well. Uh, you also have a vest that's included into it and a cross body bag that you can also sew as well. So I think this is really fun. Um, and the other feature, uh, you also can make a hat. So again, these are going to be with like your fleece type fabrics, uh, wool, wool blend type fabrics, those types of fabrics for those, um, there. Then there's this very popular, um, shacket pattern. This is the Simplicity S9388. So this came out, I think two years ago and people have just been sewing this. I think this is one of the most popular, uh, unisex, uh, shacket, uh, jacket and coat whatever pattern that is out right now it comes in sizes uh 2x small to 2xl and it's a button front jacket with yokes it has a fr uh, front patch pockets side uh seam po pockets long sleeves button cuffs with pleats a back yoke with pleat line yokes and also um you have your sleeves so really nice it has uh different length variations as well and so it's really great because, like I said, it's a unisex. So I think that would be really fun. Um, there's also the Mrs. Uh, Butterick B6965. Now, I have this pattern, but I haven't sewn it yet. I really want to sew it. This is another one of those patterns that go up to a size 26. And so, again, for those individuals who might need the extra room um, in the regular size, I think that 26 would probably do really good. It's a loose fitting jacket in two lengths. It also has shoulder pads. Now for me personally, I would omit the so shoulder pads, do a little bit of adjustment so that I can omit this shoulder pads because I'm not really a fan of shoulder pads. Um, long set in sleeves. It has a built-in shawl collar, side seam pocket, stitched hem, matching tie belt. And you also have um, a pant and a, a skirt that come with the pattern as well. Next, there's the Butterick B6720. Again, I have this pattern, but I have not had the chance to make it. This is um, a Mrs. Petite outwear and belt coat pattern. Come in sizes extra small to, I'm sorry, small to large and extra large to 2XL. So those are two different groups of sizes. So the envelope that I have is the small to large, but you can get the extra large to 2XL. This is a lined jacket, loose fitting jacket and um, coat with extending uh, collar, front pocket. You have a band on your pocket, two piece sleeve and a self fabric belt that you can make. So I really like this. You have different length variations as well. You have, um, I'll put the pictures here so you can see the different length variations that you have. Berta style. 5855, Mrs. Jacket and Coat. So you have uh, casual jackets to slip on. And you also have um, for view A and I think view B, you have, um, you can make it in a plush fabric. It's saying here, a Teddy uh, plush fabric, or you could do wool fabrics. Um, you also have, um, longer variations and shorter va variations. So you have two different length variations there. Um, yeah, really nice coat. I think that that would be something that I think, uh, because it offers just a little bit more room. Like I said, Berta usually go between 10 and 18. If they do have plus size coats, um, which they do, um, it's not like very inclusive. We also have this uh, fur coat here, if you're into fur. This is the Berta 6359. And you have two different styles of a coat. One of them looks kind of like a bomber fur coat because you have um, a lower band that's made with rib knit fabric. And you also have for your sleeve, you're going to be at the lower edge of your sleeve, you're going to be adding a rib knit as well. So it's kind of like this bomber fur type coat, but you also have the variation where you don't have to put the rib knitting on the bottom or a band on the bottom. And so it's just a coat that hangs, um, right around your high hip area there. Uh, it looks like it's going to be um, somewhat easy to sew. So um, 
that's what I like about this one as well. It goes um, from sizes 10 to 20 though. So I did not see any other sizes for that. Next, we have the Berta 6608. So this is an easy to sew, like a throw on jacket. It's uh, made with knit fabric. You can do like a plush fabric or you can do anything like a, um, like a sweater knit, like a heavy sweater knit or something like that. So this is going to be more on the jacket side, not the coat side, but I think this would be really fun, easy to sew. So now for McCall's, I really like this jacket here. It's the McCall's M8013. You have different variations and you have uh, with one variation, you have a detachable fur collar, which I think is interesting. Um, if you want the fur on it, you know, you can put it on one day and take it off the next. And so I think that would be really nice. You also have different variations with a notch collar as well. You do have um, for your closures buttons going down the center front. Uh, it is a loose fitting line coat. You have a collar side pockets, thread loops, and a belt that goes in the thread loops. You also have a back vent. You have um, elastic loops for view D. You also have, if you want like a different style of coat, like if you want like a peplum or, you know, something a little bit more uh, spicy, I think the McCall's M7848 would be a really great option. This is a women's petite coat with belt. You have uh, sizes 8 to 16, which is your regular size. And you also have um, somewhat of a, a plus size. It's 18W to 24W. And this is also a lined coat with a front zipper closure. So for those of you who don't want to deal with buttons, um, zippers, I think, tend to be a little bit uh, easier, especially the separating zippers for the front coat. So I think that that would be really fun for those individuals who don't want to deal with buttons or button holes. Uh, you have side seam pockets and you also have sleeve uh, variations as well. You have um, with one variation, you can put fur on the edge of the sleeve as well on the lower sleeve. And then you have a variation with the stand up collar and then also a variation with the hood. So really great options here. And then there's a variation also that don't have a collar or a hood. So again, very great variations here. And the type of fabric that you're using is also kind of like your wool type blends, your tweed, those types of coating type materials. McCall's M7847 for those individuals who want something super easy. This comes in sizes extra small to extra large. I did purchase this last year and I was uh, in the process of making it but found out that the sleeve pattern, even for an extra large, was just too narrow for my biceps. I believe it's somewhere in, I, I measure the, the uh, width of the pattern for the sleeve. And I think the finished garment measurement would be somewhere around like a, I want to say like a 16 or something like that. My biceps is a 15, 15 and a half. And so I definitely would need at least a uh, one and a half to two inches of ease with the coat pattern. Um, and that's with a, you know, somewhat of more of a semi fitted coat pattern. So I decided to set that one to the side. However, it is very easy and it's for your learn to sew, um, beginner, uh, sewist. You have different variations. This is calling for fur type fabric, but you can definitely use wool, wool blends, tweed, those types of fabric with this as well. And it's also aligned, uh, it's calling for lining. You do have a snap closure. And so that's a little bit different than your button closure and your uh, zipper closure, but it just calls for like the one snap there. This pattern here, this is a pattern that I have been currently working on. I haven't uh, selected my fabric yet or washed my fabric, but I did uh, trace out the pattern pieces, choose my size. I did some shortening of the coat as well because this is a really long coat. It's the No Me um, ME2001. Um, and this is by Nikki Brooks. And I absolutely love, love, love the options here. So you have, it comes in sizes 10 to 18, 20W to 28W, 30W to 38W. So you have an array of different sizes to choose from. So very size inclusive. I selected the size 10 to 18. And I just want to say from the outset, um, 
I chose, I believe the size 16, it is um, very loose fitting. So it, it's meant to be um, somewhat like loose fitting. And so even with that size 16, I believe it was something like 45 inches for the bust. And for the sleeve pattern, it offered a lot of room for the sleeve. So again, I'm still in the process of um, sewing it and everything, but just going off of the, the, the tissue paper measurements and me measuring the actual tissue paper, I can say that it is looking promising. And so I think this would be very size inclusive and really great for individuals who are looking for, um, you know, more room in their, their sleeve patterns and things of that nature. So I really recommend this one. Also, there's the Nomi ME2058. And this is by Handmade Millennial. That's um, her handle over on Instagram. This one comes in sizes 6 to 14 and 16 to 24. This is also fully lined. What I like about this jacket is that it's asymmetrical and you could do a lot of color blocking with it as well. It does call for snap closures. And so again, snap closures is a little bit different than buttons. If you find those to be more fun or something that you can do, I think that that would be um, a better option for those individuals who don't want to do buttonholes. Um, it does call for welt pockets though. And so it is rated as average. It's not going to be like super easy, but I think it would be a really great pattern to, um, to sew. What I also like about this is you can use uh, light to medium weight uh, wool type fabrics as well. And so it can be one of those uh, projects where it can, even though it's more of a jacket, it definitely, you can definitely uh, wear it in the winter if you choose uh, the light to medium weight wool type fabrics or heavier type uh, fabrics that um, resemble like a wool. There's also the Mrs. Jacket ME2057 for those individuals who are in um, warmer cli climates that just need just a jacket. This one come in sizes 4 to 12 and 14 to 22. Zip front jacket that features a high collar and optional hood, drop shoulders, rounded slit hem, patch and welt pockets. So, and this is also um, stated to be at an average pattern as well. So again, that will be um, a really great pattern for those individuals who don't want something too heavy and are in warmer climates right now. Now for men, I think that this puffer coat by Norris Dr. Ford is a really, really great option. The size range is 34 to 42 and 44 to 52. And again, it's a, a puffer coat. It's also going to be lined. You have welt pockets, a zipper front closure. Um, you have fl a flap with a hood and uh, loops and a band for your collar as well. And for the Nomi patterns, all of those patterns have step-by-step um, Tutor a tutorial on YouTube. So if you go on the simplicity.com website, you'll see um, once you type in the number in the search bar of the pattern that you're looking for, it'll bring that pattern up. And at the lower portion of the page um, of that, that pattern, you'll see um, a link to YouTube videos for these different patterns. So I really like that with the Nomi patterns that even though some of them might be classified as average or um, advanced that you can still have a step-by-step -step, uh, sewing tutorial if you still are like a beginner or an advanced beginner and you still want to try the pattern. You still have instructions in the form of a video that you can use. So I really like that about the Nomi patterns. Next um, is another unisex uh, jacket. This is a bomber jacket. So for those individuals who are not into like trench style coats or, you know, fitted uh, coats, you know, that look kind of similar to like a, a trench coat with the notch collars and all that. There's the Vogue V 1877. So this is a bomber jacket, unisex jacket. You can make it with uh, a leather or a faux leather. You can make it with suede. You can make it with any type of um, quilted type material or uh, cottons. You can make it with just an array of different fabrics here that you can use. So it is a loose fitting line jacket. 
um, you have a drop shoulder, back yoke, welt pockets, a separating zipper for your front um, closure there. And you have rib knit trim that's going to go on your uh, sleeve band and the lower edge of the jacket as well. And you do have different collar variations. You have a uh, kind of like a shirt collar and then also I think a stand up collar or a, um, a ribbed collar as well. So really like those options there. So I have two more for Vogue before we finish up here. The first is the Vogue V1663. So this is a jacket pattern that came out a couple years ago. So this is kind of like your standard um, open front jacket that has like a shawl around the neckline. You have a long sleeve, nothing really, you know, different. But when you turn it around and from the and see it from the back, it's just a really great detail on the back. So you have these really nice uh, pleats in the back of the jacket and they're stitched down. So you don't really see them as pleats. Um, really nice um, uh, tucked pleats there, which I really like. So it says that the jacket is close fitting, unlined with a shawl collar and belt. And you have um, back stitched pleats and top stitching details. For top B, so it comes with, so that's the jacket that I just read off, but it also comes with um, a pair of pants and a top. So for view B, it's a, it's a top that's close fitting. You have a neckband and top stitching details around the neckband. And for the pants, they're pull on pants, um, a self lined yoke with hidden waist um, elastic and top stitching details on the hem of the pants as well. So I think that's a really nice set if you want to create the whole set. But if you want the jacket for uh, winter, I think that that would be really fun. And I think it would be also really easy to line it, even though it is an unlined jacket. I'm really certain it will be easy to line this as well. And then lastly, um, this Mrs. Jacket and the Vogue V1717, I think would be really fun if you want something a little bit more like elegant, uh, depending on the type of uh, fabric that you choose. This one calls for tweed, but you can definitely sew this in um, different fabrics, such as your wools, your wool blends, and those types of fabrics as well. Twill, um, those types of fabrics would be really great with this. Now, this comes in a, a set. It's a wardrobe uh, pattern. So you do get a skirt, a pair of pants. Uh, you also get a, a two different variations of a jacket. So you have a short jacket and you can also do a long jacket as well. You have different um, pockets on the front of the the front there, you have two breast pockets and two lower pockets. Uh, you also have, um, it's, it's just an amazing pattern. It's a really fun, amazing pattern. Again, I'll put it up here so you can see what it looks like. That pattern come in sizes 8 to 16 and 16 to 24. So, and it's rated as average. So it's going to be a little bit more challenging. However, I do think it will be a really great jacket pattern to add to your wardrobe. So those are all my uh, suggestions for sewing jacket and coat patterns this winter. If you have any other suggestions that you want to share with us, please make sure you do so in the comment section below. Let me know what you're working on. And if you are working on a coat or jacket pattern, leave those details in the comment section below as well. So I can go over and check out those different patterns and see what they have to offer. I will be uh, updating here pretty soon and sharing with you the different coat patterns that I have been sewing. One of them is the new look pattern that I showed you guys a couple of weeks ago. I'm almost finished with that one. I've been really slowly working on projects because I injured my back and so I've been really really taking it slow and easy i haven't really been able to sit at the sewing machine as much and so that's why i haven't really been doing a lot of videos however they are coming i have a few projects that i want to share with you and i also want to share with you my um wrap up video and uh, for 2023 so you can see all the beautiful garments that I have made that I haven't really included into videos so stay tuned for that video that will be coming out soon thank you all for tuning in today if you have not subscribed to the channel yet and you like the content that you see on this channel please make sure you give me a big um, thumbs up on the video and also subscribe to the channel thank you all for tuning in today and I hope you all have a blessed and happy new year day and I will talk to you all in the next video Bye.